Shepard. Remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Hello everybody, Rusted Ground here, welcome back. Let's continue our adventure and um, go and have a chat with uh, the Turians, is it? Uh, let me see here. Priority Perseus Vale, the Quarian fleets. Sorry, the tw the Quarians. What 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 the? I don't know what what I was thinking. The Quarians. We're gonna have a chat with the Quarians. That's the plan, at least, unless anything gets in our way. Oh, you two aren't speaking anymore. Hmm, interesting. Commander, Doctor Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Really? Okay. Interesting. Why does she want to speak with us again? Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. Okay. But it hasn't been a year yet. <laughs> yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. Um, you know what? I think we should keep the tradition. Doctor, put that bottle in a safe place. We'll crack it open to celebrate our victory over the Reapers. Admire your optimism, and I'll look forward to the day we can share it. Till then. Yeah, I think we should be optimistic about this. Come on. Come on, Doctor. Have a little faith. Have a little faith. Okay, well, since we're down here, let's see. Um, lounge. Garrison Javik are in the lounge. Oh, this is going to be interesting. And Kaden is there. Let's have a chat with everybody then. The previous mission was quite interesting. So let's see if Liara has anything to say. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas Relay. Okay. Anything here? Correspondence from Classified Alliance Project Staff. Dr. Locke, I was working on that problem you sent me last night and I think I found a solution for synchronizing the Crucible's energy bursts. Punch the attached capacitor, redesign into your project uh, projections. It should shave 3.6 milliseconds off the Mass Effect field's activation time. You can see where that leads. If you approve, I'll send the schematics to manufacturing. We'd need roughly 250,000 by tomorrow morning for testing, Dr. Cole. Okay. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. Perhaps yeah. we can talk later. Okay, Liara. Yeah, well, if she wouldn't Dr. have... Tony found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Did she? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Galay's electronic signature. Here we go. Matriarch Galay uh, was an Asari of some importance with connections to Asari High Command and the Council itself. Her electronic signature can be used once before security protocols realize it has been activated by someone else. Galay's contracts can open elite training facilities for reconditioning soldiers or, on behalf of the Asari Embassy, grant someone a discount at all the Citadel stores. Okay, store discount, power damage bonus. Power damage bonus, please. Thank you. Okay, cool. Nice. Thanks for letting me know, Glyph. Um, okay, so... Let's see here. So, we have... Kaden is right here, I guess. Yes, he is. That was a rough mission. The Reapers are an ingenious and ruthless enemy. They sure are. Poor Rila. Ingenious and ruthless. The worst kind. Huh. Never met a real Ardot Yakshi. Not that I know of, anyway. I think I dodged a bullet there. <laughs> yeah, you sure did, man. Seriously, I think I would have been a goner. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Okay. And... 
the lounge. Where the heck is the lounge? Isn't this the lounge over here? No, the lounge is... yeah. My bad, my bad. The lounge is right here. Everybody was fighting the Rachni. Uh oh Trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vandoma, and the Jatil turned against the Jah. So... I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. <laughs> the Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. <laughs> Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. Nothing. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. She sure does. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. Let's hope not. How's it going? Yeah. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. No shit. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. <laughs> Commander. Okay, okay, Javik. Uh, let me check on the other the other guys here. So, James and Cortez. Let's uh, let's go. Uh, it's a brilliant oh. tactic when you think about it. Whoa! But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into reapers? I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, cool. Now, let's see. Shuttle Bay. I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Here we go. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. <laughs> I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. Oh, that's right. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? <laughs> if you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> okay. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. Okay, Cortez. I didn't blow it up. Someone else did. Everything is in order. Cool. Okay. Let's see if uh, Vega wants to say anything. Hey. No, he doesn't. Okay. Now, we got a little pistol last time. Uh, screw not this one. Which one was it? Can we get a little pistol? Wait.
Wait a second. I thought we got a little pistol there. Back. Oh, no. We got... Ooh, we got... What is this? Eviscerator. The Disciple. Oh, sorry. My bad. It was a uh, shotgun. What is this here? Originally handcrafted for the exclusive use of Justicars, the Disciples shot the Disciples shotgun's schematics will finally release to Asari Commandos after centuries of negotiation. The Disciple uses shells packed with micro-scale sub munitions to deal staggering amounts of damage. Even shielded enemies are stunned by the force of a blast from this weapon. Yeah, it looks like it packs a punch, but not very accurate. I'm not going to equip it, to be honest. I'm just going to stick with my Talon and Hurricane for now. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, and we also had some... What do we have? Leggings, were they? What is this? What did we get here? No, weapon damage... health boost. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with this one. Okay. I thought we... Didn't we get leggings? Did we get leggings or did we get arms? I don't remember exactly. Honey Kedar. Weapon damage. Nah. Okay, screw it. Let's, uh... Let's head back to the combat information center. There's a new private message at your... Okay. Finally. You're uh, giving me all the woo hoo hoo hoo. Here we go. Asari squad ready from Corrine Lemais. Commander Shepard, as of an hour ago, Asari High Command has assigned my squad to support you. We will ride with the Second Fleet until it's time to deploy. If you'll allow me to pers a personal note, I knew a few of the commandos who went down to that monastery. Nothing will bring them back, but hearing that that place went up in smoke is the only good news I've heard in weeks. Ready to serve, Captain Corinne Lemace, okay? Headed for the front lines from Samara. Shepard, I've finished my business on Lessus. I would offer to travel once again with you on the Normandy, but the code dictates I join the fight here. It is must... Uh, where it is most dire, sorry. While you do your essential work, I will do my best to help hold the front. Before I depart, I will return to the Citadel for a short time to, prepper, to prepare. <laughs> if it does not interfere with your duties, come find me there. Oh, okay. Citadel meetup from Jacob Tra Taylor. Hey, Shepard. Uh, this Crucible project is intense. Bryn uh, and the others are on it around the clock. Pretty soon, I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. If you've got time, want to meet me there? Things were so crazy on Jellix. I'd be it'd be good to see you in a quieter place. You know, uh, hope to see you around. Um, maybe this was supposed to be like before we actually met him on the Citadel, and then the Crucible update from Bryn Cole to Commander Shepard. Uh, dear Shepard, thank you again for all you did at our group to our to get our group out of that facility on Jellix. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never rely on luck, in this instance, I fear we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. Sincerely, Doctor Brain Cole. Um, wait a second. Samara, duh, 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 duh. come find me there. Uh, okay, <clears throat> let's go to the Citadel really fast. Just one second. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. Cool. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. <laughs> okay. Commander. Okay, yeah, let's go to the Citadel really fast and meet Samara. And then we'll do the then we'll do the priority. Leave orbit. Uh nothing here. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me see here. Pelion. Let's go to Pelion. Oh, 25% so we can still scan this system. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. So nothing here, like so. Whoa, we found something. Some fuel, of course. Seven hundred and fifty units of fuel. 
Whew. Okay. Crapperoni. Yep, bottom mass relay like jump. Successful. Yeah, I'm doing this. Okay, let's go to the Citadel really fast and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back there. Because we still have two things that we need to uh, investigate. Center orbit. Go to the Citadel. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Alliance docks. And... You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? B hospital? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Maybe we can find out some more about that Asari uh, story. Jacob is still there. Hmm, interesting. In addition to your medical discharge, the government wants to give you a medal. Whoa. The intel you provided when that shuttle finally found you? You saved a lot of lives. And I killed those farmers. They were indoctrinated. You had to defend yourself. And as for Hillary, idiot. When I took a shower and left my gun in the bedroom, I killed them. Ira. At least she can blame the Reapers. But I'm just me. Color on my eyes. Did they turn back after? Could I get that gun now? Whoa. I'll see what I can do. Whoa, okay. Okay, Jacob. Something else? Uh, no. But... I'm glad we had time to talk. Okay, never mind. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. Yeah, so I was Good right show. about the email. Thanks again for getting my people out alive. I should have seen that email before you too, talking to Jacob I'm thinking about here. you out there. Stay safe. Okay, so let me see here. Uh, boom. Arya, Edie, Joker. No, Miran Miranda is in the apartments. Okay, this is interesting. James and Zaid. Where is Samara then? Samara is at the embassy offices. Okay, Citadel embassies it is then. Let's let's move on to that. And then go to the apartments. Because Miranda's there. Interesting. Citadel embassies. And... nope. There we go. Here she is. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe. And Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. Oh, okay. I want you to know... There is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. Thank you very much. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Okay, thanks for the advice. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Okay. What about the what about Falir? Will Falir be alright in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. 
Good. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. Hmm. Yeah, glad you still have one exactly. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. And what about the Reapers? You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. <laughs> Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. And what do you think? Is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. <sighs> okay, Samara. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I hope to see you again. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. Thanks. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Cool. Awesome. Okay. I just want to find out what happened here. My wife was just sent back to active duty, and I'm about to get shipped out too. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course. You're a Neota spouse, correct? I... Yes. Okay, this is... Uh, okay, this is looping back. Never mind. We already know what happened on uh, that story, so let's go to the Presidium Commons. And let's see here. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Wait a second. So Liara is the, where we left her there. I don't know if she has anything else to tell us. But if she does, I, I just want to check with her first. Uh, book through here, and then. Whoa. Of course, P O R. Okay. No, Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Shit. Where did this come? Yeah, delivering oh, no. the bad news. God damn it. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Yeah. Okay. Well, we did that. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Anything? Sold rifle, rifle, piercing mod. There we go. Purchase. You're the best in the business. Come to Casa. Magazine upgrade. Okay. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. And then Welcome this here out of stock. Handy. Cool. Okay. Now, Liara. I don't know if she has anything else she'd like to tell us. Hello, Shepard. No, she doesn't. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you too. Okay, let's uh, let's go to the apartments really fast and check on and check on Miranda there. They still haven't fixed the window here. It's still broken. Yeah. And this window as well. Come on, guys. How, how long does it take you to clean up a little bit in here? And you. <clears throat> uh, there we go. Let's see now. What's going on here? Uh, uh. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Hello? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I got your message. I'm ta I, I take it we're going to get an email or something next time we're on the Normandy? Because I don't remember any messages from her. So, what is it? I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Oh, come on. Of course. <sighs> okay, I'm going with this. Uh, hopefully... You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. So what That's we... not the only thing you wanted to talk about, what is What are we supposed to do here? No. I need to tell you something. What's up? Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, 
I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. Shit. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. Of course there is. The elusive man stopped me. What? Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. Whoa, that is interesting. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? What? Really? Yes. Why? Just because Miranda, you got to know I us better, huh? two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. <laughs> don't worry about it. You can't keep beating yourself up over the Exactly. Past. I usually don't, but this was important. Cool. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. <laughs> no, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. <laughs>